Howdy folks. So for today's random teardown, I have this. This is a Vantec uh, 7.1 channel USB audio card. Um, I picked this up quite a while ago um, to supplement the absolutely horrendous onboard audio that my laptop comes with. Um, some of you may have laptops which I mean, literally, you move the mouse, you sort of do any activity at all uh, that causes the power supply to just move ever so slightly, and you can hear everything. You can hear the CPU cycles. I mean, you can hear everything. It's it's awful uh, the way that they do audio in some laptops with the integrated Realtek. Uh, I would just say Realtek because it's ninety percent of the time it's a Realtek chipset. It's just they're they're really terrible. So uh, I went out and bought this. I don't think it was terribly uh, expensive maybe thirty forty dollars I mean it wasn't super cheap um, but I thought you know anything is better than that um, obviously it's not my you know three hundred dollar audio card um, that I, I use normally um, but it's 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 something and uh, it was USB so it was portable and I could use it on whatever machine I, I wanted um, so I thought I'd just take it apart and see um, and see how it's how it's built now this does sound better than the onboard audio. It doesn't have uh, the same noise issues, but it definitely doesn't sound like my $300 uh, audio card either. I can very, very easily tell the difference. Um, this, it sounds sort of muddy. It doesn't have a lot of tone definition. Uh, it's, it's, it's not great, but it's better than onboard. Um, and so it served its purpose. Um, I forgot to mention uh, the back, the part number, uh, NBA 200U, made in China. Uh, so this this unit has power light on the front. It has a, a mute uh, light for the uh, microphone, volume up and down, um, and uh, mute for both the input and the output. We have two microphone inputs, which is interesting. Um, uh, and uh, of course, there's a, there's a mono on this side. Uh, which I, that's kind of an interesting uh, interesting thing. We've got headphones, line in, and then 7.1 out. Uh, and it's interesting to see that they differentiate between the front and the headphones. So I'm I, I'd be interested to see inside if they actually separate these. Um, like if this goes through, let's say, an, a headphone amplifier, and this is just straight out of the uh, straight out of the, the DAC? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. And uh, on the rear we've got optical uh, SPDIF, which is uh, nice to see, and just USB-B standard cable uh, on, on the back. Um, one thing that uh, I'll note is the power LED is a serious fail on this. Um, I don't really know why, but Vantech was like, okay, let's just take the brightest possible blue LED and they shoved it in there as the power light. So not only is it blindingly bright, and I, I mean blindingly, I mean this thing might as well be a flashlight LED, but whenever there's audio being played out through this, they decide let's strobe the power LED. So this thing flashes whenever you're playing audio. So when I was using this uh, for the short time I was I needed it for because I was traveling, I actually put a piece of electrical tape over this because I could not stand the bloody power light. So uh, I mean I couldn't I couldn't I mean I could probably have just opened it and cut it, uh, which probably I mean I should have done. But honestly, uh, if I were to you know, start using this again, uh, this has been sitting. I mean. I only used it when I was traveling that one time, but uh, if I were to use this again, I would either put a resistor in series with that LED, or I'd replace the LED with some dim ass red light. But uh, I just I think it's such a, 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 a I mean, it's a relatively well designed product from the outside, except for that. So anyway, enough waffling. Let's uh, let's get inside this. It's not very heavy. Um, it really isn't. So I don't expect there to be. Uh, a lot of uh, really high quality components into this thing. I mean, it's probably, there's probably a, just a single chip uh, that does everything. I mean, I, 
I don't expect there to be more than that. Oh man, I love that. I uh, love that screwdriver. Okay, there's screws everywhere. Okay. So the front, we've got a non-captive uh, button assembly, but at least at least they're tied together so they don't fall out everywhere, which is nice. Is there any dates? I don't see any stamps or anything on the uh, on the front. They've got little plastic posts which just sort of hold the uh, the assembly on there. But that's not really what we're here to look at. We're here to look at the electronics. Now, they are not attached to the case in any way. They're just sort of sat in there, and I, uh, I don't see any markings on the bottom either, so there seems to be no date, no plastic type. Um, whatever. So this is the, uh, this is the main board, and uh, there's some interesting, uh, interesting, well, I guess, it's interesting because it doesn't really have much stuff on it. Um, I mean, it's mostly just jacks. Um, they're nice, fully enclosed jacks, which is nice. I mean, it doesn't... Uh, you have less chance of getting dust in there, but I mean, uh, most most computer things use these types of jacks now. No, nothing uses the exposed old contact things that uh, most of the vintage stuff I, I take apart has. Um, so we've got the four four buttons that run along the inside here. We've got those two LEDs. They've they've gone to the trouble to put this plastic uh, th this kind of plastic uh, sort of sleeve. It's a it's an insert almost. So I, I think it's kind of like a like an H shape almost. Um, and it, it's basically probably put on there and they put the LED on top of it and the leads keep it on there. That's a nice hard plastic. I mean, I mean they they've 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 done it well. Just they picked the wrong LED. And uh, I mean those 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 SOT twenty threes there. They, I mean, they, they could even be current drive for these. I mean, if you need a transistor to drive the bloody LED, you're putting way too much current through it. I mean, at least that's my opinion anyway. They they could be for something else, but just their proximity just makes me think that's what it is. So basically, aside from a couple tiny passives here, we've just got a chip and some uh, some caps and a crystal. So the crystal is 12 megahertz, and these caps, they are made by, what the hell? They're all oriented exactly the same way, so it's extremely difficult to see. I think they're made by Cheng, C-H-E-N-G. So these smaller ones are 16 volt, 47 microfarad. Surprisingly 105 degrees C rated. Uh, I'm not sure if I trust that, but uh, that's what all these small ones are. And these two bigger ones are made by I don't even know how how that G-Con uh, it's sort of a logo I'm not really sure how G-Con I'm going to I'm going to say that. Uh they're also 105 degrees C rated which I just find I just I can't I sort of can't believe that. Uh they are 6 16 volt, uh, 470 mic. Okay, so they, they, they're they probably power supply related. Okay, and of course the moment of truth is the chip. So they're obviously got a an ASIC in here, specifically designed for this. Um, never actually tried this, I guess that, uh, I guess you can probably read that. Uh, but I, I can't read it through the camera's uh, display unfortunately. So that is CM6206 uh, with a date code of 1224, so 24th week 2012. 
And that's that little, I think it's an I logo. Um, oh, that looks familiar to me. I should know who makes that. Um, is that is that what uses the oxygen driver? Is that a serious logic part? I, I, it'll be in the corner. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know that brand off the top of my head, but I've seen that before. I just can't remember whose it is. Um, so yeah, this is just basically a, an all-in-one solution, and uh, there's no components on the back, and uh, it looks like it's been, it could have been wave soldered. Uh, it does have some surface mount stuff on the top, so I'm not quite sure. Could have been refloated and then and then soldered on the bottom, but that's definitely not hand soldered. So, yeah, um, made in China. No other really useful markings. So yeah, it's it's kind of what I expected. I mean, for the price, it's not a not bad. But I mean, if you really care about audio, I, I mean, I wouldn't buy one of these. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I expected. I just, I wasn't, I, I wasn't uh, prepared for how much space the jacks would actually take up. But, uh, I guess you just don't see that with the case on. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.